welcome to Camp Nostalgic's Late Night Urge. I'm Arielle Julie. And for this month, the home of independent storytelling is celebrating its month of independence, which is rather fitting because I'm in the one place right now that I feel the most independent. My own apartment. I mean, call it what you want. Being a hermit or a princess locked away in her tower. But when I'm surrounded by these four walls, I can do whatever I want. I mean, I can say whatever I want. I can wear whatever I want. I can eat anything I can get my hands on. And I have the freedom to take off this damn bra. I can walk around this place completely naked if I want. And on most Saturday nights, I do. But lately, I've been doing a shit ton of stuff downtown. So naked RL time happens whenever I can fit it in. I'm actually doing a set today. And thank God it's in the city. I've been doing a lot of sets lately that have been like out the sticks, at random bars, that have never done comedy shows before. So it'll be a nice change of pace to be in an actual club with like a real audience who knows that a comedy show is happening. Because, you know, sometimes you end up at these shows where people, you kind of like ambush them with comedy. And then they're like, I'm just trying to eat my hamburger and you're talking about your vagina. I mean, that's cool, but not not cool. So hopefully tonight will be better because it'll be people who like, pay money to see people tell jokes. So that'll be good. Look at us. We just met and we're already taking a bath together. And hey, since we're already naked, maybe we should get all the boring stuff out of the way. At Camp Nostalgic Late Night Urge, we're gonna learn a lot about each other. Well, mostly you guys learning a lot about me since I don't know who you all are. But I'm really glad you're with me I mean, we're gonna learn about things that make me happy, things that terrify me. We're gonna talk a lot about comedy. And I'm gonna give you guys as much advice as I can. Tips, tricks, all kinds of things. Actually, it might be a little bit of an emotional roller coaster, but it should be a fun time. Oh, you know what? Since we're already here, we might wanna take a quick commercial break. You've been watching Camp Nostalgic Late Night Urge. I'm Arielle Julie. See you in a little bit. Get on. Can somebody get my back? Tonight's program is brought to you by Suppress It. When you're stressed about the bills and fresh out of thrills, try pills. Let Camp Nostalgic Studios get you into that revolutionary spirit with the all new design, Give Me Creativity or Give Me Death. Available at campnostalgic.org store. Wait, what? I said, Sarah, go spray tan! She's gonna be here in eight seconds! I'll call you back. Behind every ranger, there's an even better wife. I am telling you, Scott, I have had it with these bitches. Sarah Lynn is driving me up a freaking wall. We stayed at this cute little Western style Airbnb. Oh my gosh. You should have seen the view. Oh. And Jenny and her new boyfriend are so lovely dovey it makes me just wanna <gasps> Scott, are you even listening to me? It can be difficult raising the kids, running the park. All right, well you could tell Rick I need him in quadrant six, all right? Managing the wives. Okay, now listen. I don't want anyone to be upset about this, but this year for the Miss Mary Maddie Memorial Bake Off, Sarah Lynn's running it. Now, Tammy Ray. Tammy, don't be upset. I don't think Sarah Lynn or Tammy Ray have ever liked each other. You know, I don't mind her. I'll knock her upside the head. Oh, hell no. 
All right, girls, I'm ready for the woods. You are not coming this time. Tammy Ray, why are you so mean? Sarah Lynn ruins every trip out. Have y'all seen what our husbands look at in the break room? What? I mean, look at this stuff. Is this what they wish we look like? I also found one of these in one of the trucks. Ooh. <gasps> Jenny's boyfriend, Chet, he was hanging around us the entire night last night. And he was acting real weird. Jenny, you got what I need. And I want to be more than friends. And I want to be more than friends. So won't you marry me? So won't you marry me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just feel like they're completely rushing things. I'll give it two months. What did she just say? Oh, I have bachelorette plans. Jenny, Jenny, we gotta get in shape for this wedding, y'all. Oh, there's so much to plan for. I mean, we've got dresses, invitations, food, and oh my God, we need to find somebody to do hair. It's time to ring in Trixie Doll. Trixie Doll is the best cosmetologist in Champagne. Trixie, don't you think this is just a little too much? No! You look beautiful! Today's the big day. Could you help me with my shoe, please? But first, help me with my earring. <laughs> Tammy Ray, she is busy Excuse right now. Excuse me. What the Y'all! You know, normally, I love helping people out. But these bitches, they're crazy. <laughs> Day. Baby, do you think you could get Chet fired? Tammy Ray, you know I can't do that. He's family. Barely. He's my third cousin. Welcome to the bake sale. You're so cute and adorable. Oh, wow, Tammy Ray, did you sell all those muffins or did you just get a little hungry? You f***ing bitch. Oh. What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you do that? It's like, guys, please stop. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Dang it, this was supposed to be the best bake sale we've had. Oh. You bitch. Yes. Oh, how dare you? This is so awful. I'm so sorry, Miss Maddie May. I'm so sorry, your legacy. <laughs> this is all she wanted. She loved the bake sale. Here is to the Ranger Wives of Chesapeake Valley. Cheers. Fix up the work week with episodes of Bill You're Done, weekdays at 7.30, only on Camp Nostalgic Studios. Welcome to the Sammy Hot Dogs Variety Show. All fucking ten of you. It's on video, so we're gonna have evidence of this. Hell yeah, give it up for the dusty lemons in the house tonight! Music's so much fucking cooler than comedy. Cause here's how this works, guys, just in case you didn't know how the comedy business works. You're gonna pay now, the comedians are going to come up while they're up here. I'm going to take the money and leave. All right. Camp Nostalgic. Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Alex. Did you miss us this morning? I mean, they probably did. They're, I can guarantee they're just not getting up for something like this. Well, then if that's the case, you can always watch us on demand anytime at campnostalgic.org. And you definitely don't want to miss this month because we're celebrating our month of independence. Hey there, I'm 
Kyle Fields, and you're watching Camp Nostalgic, the home for true independent storytelling. Welcome back to Camp Nostalgic Late Night Urge. I'm Ariel Julie. And okay, this is a bit off topic, but I think I have an okay butt. Like, like it's funny, you know, but in these leggings, this ass could rule a small country. Or at least like a, like a state. Okay, like this ass could definitely govern the state of Illinois. It is very corrupt. <laughs> but... I don't know. I feel like over the last few centuries, there's been this weird war between which is better, the ass or the tits, which makes no sense. Titties are the undisputed heavyweight champ in that debate. Going back for centuries to this sorcery right here, the corset. This thing must have driven men insane back in the day. Did anybody concentrate on the good book with ladies running around in bees all day? No wonder they burned us for being witches. And us ladies could even come to the new world without our corsets. And the curse that this thing provided started an American Revolution all its own. And it's so weird because then public opinion completely flips. I mean, by the 20th century, the trend was to wear these bandeau-style bras to really flatten the girls out. I guess flappers weren't really flapping much of anything at all. And I bet this was cute and fun for a little while, but history has shown us that you can't keep a good set of knockers down because soon all sorts of modifications began popping up. Varying styles, adjustable straps, And the divine gift of the padded bra. Man, these ancient bra smiths would not stop innovating. Oh, we're running out of time. Follow me. Well, what do you think? I know, I know, Amazon really does a good job with their pleather leggings. Honestly, these kind of feel like, um, like paper and like they're gonna fall apart any second, but don't they look nice? Phew. I am usually really calm before I set, but I'm actually really nervous because this is the first time I've had all of you with me. I just need to suck it up and do this like I'm already done hundreds of times. I just wish there was a way that I could like calm my nerves and relax. If I have alcohol before I go on stage, I will be completely useless. I think I should let you guys in on a little secret. Okay, this stays between us. But there's usually this thing that I do to relax. Sort of like a method or like a routine. And I've been doing this for many, many years, okay? Um... Thank you all for attending a very special and very rare showing of my Hall of Masturbatory Items, AKA my fuck toys. We begin with the ribbed rubbery end of a lady razor that started it all at the age of 12. Yes, it was dangerous, but so was my unbridled horniness. <laughs> It was retired only a year later when I began using a bottle of mascara, similar to this one you see right here. It was smaller, could fit my purse, and it made English class a whole lot more exciting. <laughs> Moving on, we have my very first vibrator, which I bought at the mall when I was 15. Haven't used it in years. Batteries are probably corroded. <laughs> and at last, we have... Kevin, the longest relationship I've ever had. We don't see each other as much as we used to, but all he has to do is shoot me that look and the sparks start flying all over again. But now time is definitely ticking away and I have to go get ready. 
Hey, um, can we all take five? Okay, now I'm ready. Oh, good. My driver is here. Ooh, he's cute. Okay, don't fuck the driver, Ariel. Don't fuck the driver. Okay, this has been Camp Nostalgic, a late night urge. I've been Ariel Julie. See you later. Like stuff's changing, you know? Stuff is changing about my body. I'm doing adult things. I'm, I'm growing out my bush. Yeah. Uh, Jello bush. Uh, what? No. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> you know what, sir? It's cheaper than getting a cat, so. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. You know what, I just like a manly, scruffy pussy. Yeah, like the kind of pussy that looks like it could build you a cabinet. Yeah, yeah, kinda actually, no, not you, you. My pussy looks a lot like your face.